and I'm going to teach him to target a hand. So when he sees this in the future, he should run towards it. Good job. With a click and a toss. And on the way back, and a toss. So this is what I call touch and toss. But it teaches them to come to your hand and play a game afterwards. You don't have to have the treat in your hand to start it. That's why we have a pouch. Feel free to just click with an empty hand and then take the time to reach back in the pouch. I do suggest that actually at the main way. So that way you never catch yourself grabbing food and he's like, oh, I see you getting the food. Now I'll pay attention to you. I want him to think that, hey, right, if the hand's there, I just react to it. And then on the way back, here's the hand. So if I want to name something, I say the word before I present the hand or the thing. Like sit and then sit. Touch and then touch. That way he has two things to associate. The name and the behavior. Sit. Touch. Add the two together to get a treat. So I made the argument. And that's where we're going to go eventually is, all right, how many behaviors can you chain together to get the same reward? Right? That way, I'm feeding him less. He's working more and we're progressing. He's going to capture that behavior. He's not jumping on me. He's not begging. He's not mouthing, biting. Touch! Right. Change the way my hand is displayed. All right. That's essentially how targeting with the hand works.